July 19th is always a special day for everyone at the Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Ayuka. It is also a special day for all the fans and lovers of Professor Jayant Vishnu Narlikar, our founder director, and the special person for today, whose birthday happens to be on this day. So in 2022, we are celebrating his 84th birthday. It has been a great experience having him with us for such a long time, guiding us through such complex situations and also inspiring us to reach out to everyone despite the complex subject, which is astrophysics, which is the main uh, research area of uh, Ayuka. So today we have a set of people who have been associated with us and uh, they have worked closely with uh, JVN for such a long time and they will be passing on their wishes to him shortly. Okay. Uh, a very happy birthday to uh, um, Jayant Nalikar today, um, uh, 84th birthday. Um, I wished him in the morning and uh, I let me wish him again. Um, this is a very, very special day for all of us who have known him for almost all our lives and all of us who work at Ayuka because uh, without him, um, Ayuka would uh, not be here. Um, I first came across uh, uh, JVN very interestingly through his fiction. Uh, when I was a school student, I first read his uh, uh, very famous science fiction story uh, about the Ganesha statue. It was called the Ganesha Idol, which came out in Illustrated Weekly and later is in several collections. Um, and I was absolutely fascinated. I'd never encountered this kind of science fiction before. And very soon later on, we uh, saw him on Durdarshan uh, taking people's questions and also presenting uh, Cosmos. And when I got into college, my first encounter with his textbooks, um, Structure of the Universe, essentially inspired me to do astrophysics. I wouldn't have taken up astrophysics had I not read um, a lot of uh, the books uh, written by um, by Professor Narlikar and of course his regular articles in newspapers and things like that. So I first um, heard of Professor Nalika when I was in Hubli, uh, the eighth standard of high school, uh, in a uh, newspaper called the Deccan Herald, which is quite famous. And then it said there that a young astrophysicist had made some startling new discovery. And I, I just happened to read it once and memorize the whole news. And, and then when a day or two later, a science teacher asked, have anybody heard of Nalika? I just... Uh, <coughs> I, I just recited whatever I had heard. And uh, so he was very impressed by that. I had not, I was not understanding anything at all about what I said. But nevertheless, it was the first introduction to him. And then after that, uh, uh, about four years later, five years later, when I was in my undergraduate the years in Bombay, in Ramtara and Ruya College, I started going to TIFR just to talk to people and do projects and so forth. So one day I was standing outside the canteen with a couple of friends and he came there because he had been visiting TIFR and he came out there and that was my second sighting of him. And the third one, remarkably, was again in TIFR and it must be about four years after that because by then I had joined TIFR as a PhD scholar and I'd been asking people whether Nalika is going to join because I wanted to uh, work with him. And then one day uh, when I came in uh, in the morning, from the hostel room. And then I saw that uh, very nicely, poshly dressed Professor Nalika with a suit and tie. And likewise, Professor Yashpal with a suit and tie. In those days, it used to be quite common. So this was the early 70s, middle 70s. Uh, it was quite common to, for people to wear suits to work. And then I, then he started giving a course. And I took that course. And then I told him that I want to work with him. The three or four other people who also wanted to do that. So he made a short list based on the uh, performance of the course. And then he interviewed us. And finally, I was one of the two people selected. So I had uh, anticipated that I would be able to uh, work with him for four or five years and do my PhD. And sometimes in the, in the fourth year or so, uh, when I, now I was not yet anywhere near the PhD. He asked me to go and meet him in the office one day in his office in the morning. And then he told me that uh, he would like to uh, tell me, uh, discuss something with me, first the short term and then the long term. 
So I thought that the short term was a paper that we are writing and a long term would be my thesis. And I thought he's going to scold me for being slow with my thesis. But he said, your short term is your thesis. And the long term is that I would like to offer you a job and you can join TIFR. And then he said, uh, then he hastily added that only if you want to. For me, of course, I was prepared never to be able to get a job in TIFR because they were very tough in those days. <coughs> so I was overjoyed. And then there was uh, uh, there's an interview and so forth, but they decided not to interview me and I joined TIFR. So that association, uh, which was to last for about five years. Uh, and so my PhD started in 1974. And since then, we have been working together. Uh, so now it is 23, 22. So in about like 48 years. Okay, so, so there will be a very long time that we have worked together. So first as a student, and then as a colleague, and then we came to Ayuka. So uh, and we made Ayuka. So it has been an extremely wonderful experience. Over the last few years, he has uh, become a little bit more silent than he used to be. But even now, I can go and talk to him about various matters, something important comes up. I go and talk to him, or even it could be a point of science, or it could be uh, it's just something, uh, it, it has something to do with Ayuka or some other thing. And then the response, as always, is very nice and positive. So we used to see him um, walk around in the morning, uh, Jet, Talikar, and Mangla Talikar. Nowadays, that has become a little bit uh, uh, scarce because of the rain and all. But I'm sure that in the, over the, over the next uh, few months, when things are back to normal, they'll again be walking around Pachoti, which is where we stay. Uh, we, all, we both uh, stay in Pachoti, and it's wonderful to be his neighbor. So uh, in the initial days, in Khagol, the building called Khagol, where various ex Ayuka people live, so there we are literally neighbors, but I don't live them. Live there in Kagol, so I live about five buildings away, which also is close enough. So it has been a totally wonderful association, and uh, I learned so much from him, and I'm very glad uh, that I met him, and then that he agreed to take me on as a student, and then we worked together on so many wonderful things. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um... A great, a very happy birthday, Jayant. It's, uh, I always remember the 19th July because it's your birthday and uh, and it's something which uh, stuck in my memory for a long time. It is great that, great to wish you on this uh, day and basically express uh, a sincere, sincere, very, Thanks for many, many things that you have done in my life, like from taking me on as a PhD student to giving me a job at Ayuka, to the many different stories that we have exchanged, to participating and telling your own stories during my 60th birthday celebrations. So, I mean, also guiding my son for a small project, Aditya, with whom you exchanged a lot of interesting discussion about cricket more than anything, among other things, I think. So thanks a lot for a uh, lot, of, lot of good memories that we have had together. And it's indeed a great pleasure for me to wish you today. I, the one thing which I do remember is that when I was just finishing uh, my MSc, I did want to learn general relativity. And asking around, I thought there was no other person who will be better to teach me GR than you. And so I remember making this effort to come and approach you, whether you can guide me on my MSc project. This was, I think, 1973, so forgot now. My memory is also slipping. And then you kindly agreed. And I used to travel every day from IIT Bombay when I was finishing MSc and come and meet you those few times at TIFR. And it was always very inspiring to talk to you. And you were just finishing your book on general relativity. And there was this 
huge, thick volume of this book kept in the TIFR library. Of course, the IFR library, as you know, was a completely frozen place. It was like uh, sitting in Iceland or something like that. But I would break this and sit there and read your book. And I think probably I'm one of those people who have read it uh, completely sitting in the IFR library mostly and trying to learn general relativity from you. And I also remember that uh, that time there was an Einstein Centenary Symposium. Oh no, it was 1979. That's when it was Centenary Symposium. And then you suggested that I go come to Ahmedabad where you were all organizing a meeting. And it was my first conference of any kind. And uh, you were there, a lot of luminaries were there. Of course, Paddy was also there, although I didn't know him at that time and became his friend only later. And this was also really a very, very nice memory for me. I was staying at my friend's house, coming and listening to all these talks with none of which I really understood, but enjoying myself. And it was all thanks to you. And later, of course, you took me on as a PhD student. And almost never, ever, you were upset with anything, except a few times which I do remember that uh, I think when Paddy and I wanted to go to some, you wanted us to go to some meeting together and it turned out that I may not be able to go and he said he won't go. Then you kind of scolded both of us saying, you always want to hold hands. I remember that very well, but that was all nothing. And you gave so much freedom to all of us to do exactly as we wanted in during our PhD days more or less. And if only if we were not able to do something, you rescued us from trying to just get lost, be lost rather than being lost. And of course, afterwards, uh, my coming to Ayuka was also because of you. Finally, when I joined Ayuka, and that was also you gave me the job at Ayuka. So all those years that I've known you, I've always admired your patience, your forbearance, your generosity, your sense of fairness in dealing with everything, your organizational abilities. Everything except the organizational ability I've tried to invite. So thank you for everything. Thank you for your role in my life. It has, if I've not told you so explicitly, I'm telling you now explicitly, it's been a wonderful influence on me. And I will always cherish the thought that uh, I have been able to interact, work with, under the guidance, learn from uh, Jayant Narlikar. Thanks a lot. So we just remember uh, Professor Narlikar's 84th uh, birth anniversary, birthday. And uh, this day, I just recollect uh, some of the things I learned from him. Uh, he, he was one of, uh, an important uh, guide for me in my early days, and I learned a lot of things from him. I'll just narrate one incident which uh, tells uh, various things about Narlika, Professor Narlika. This was uh, in 93, 1993, when I was a PhD student. And uh, so we, uh, Professor Narlika came to Bhuvaneshwar to give a lecture. And when the lecture was going on, when the lecture was finished and uh, the stage was open for question, I started asking. I was curious about various things and I started asking lots of questions and then uh, the organizers got a little uh, worried because they don't want uh, this to prolong for a long time. So they cut me short and then concluded the meeting and all of us were standing outside uh, having tea and snacks. And then Professor Malikar came to me and uh, said that you were interested in asking various questions. Uh, I am available now. Can you ask me the question? So he basically uh, patiently uh, replied to all my questions. And it was interesting, it went for quite some time, but he was, uh, even though the organizers tried to pull him out, he said like, no, no, I want to discuss with him because it seems some, some interesting questions are there. And uh, uh, that was my first meeting of Professor Nalika. And afterwards we had lots of interaction, but this interaction 
really taught me that uh, I think we have to pay attention to people who are interested in learning physics. Uh, I think he was always willing to spend some time with young people because that was, uh, I still remember, uh, this, is, this is my first interaction, I still remember it. So that tells you like uh, how much impact it had uh, for me. So I use this opportunity to uh, uh, wish him uh, many more happy returns of the day. And uh, uh, he should be, uh, I wish him to, for a healthy and uh, sort of very peaceful uh, life. And he will be uh, inspiration for all of us in days to come. Thank you very much. Aplya Puranat, Anek Prakarse Guru Sangitle ahead, Tatile Guru Manti Chandan Guru. Chancha Pakta Upastiti Nays upon Prabhavit Hoto. Tasis Kaise Pradapak Jare Chantan Arekar Yanse ahead. Majasarka Nikanate Chandan Guru Manon Lable ahead. Tachavatal Bolas as Halla, Termi Akas Manin, Idabdaba Dabdaba Baghun upon Achambit Hoto. Panchava upon Samudra Kare Bakto. तेव्हा त्याचा विस्तार आणि त्याची प्रवृत्ती बघून आपण नतमस्तक होतो नाळीकर सरांचं असंच आहे त्यांच्या समोर आपण आपसुकच नतमस्तक होत असतो आणि यदा कदाचित ते खवळले तर ते समुद्रासारखे रौद्र रूप पण धारण करू शकतात कदाचित हे काही लोकांना माहिती पण नसेल अशा या तेजस्वी समुद्रासारख्या चंदन गुरु समोर मीही नतमस्तक आहे फक्त आजच नाही तर नेहमी नेहमी साठी शेवटी मी स्वार्थपाई असंच म्हणेन की त्यांचे आशीर्वाद आपल्याला अनेक अनेक वर्ष लाभोत धन्यवाद फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आय विश प्रोफेसर नारळीकर हॅपी हेल्दी लाईफ आय हेड आय जॉईन आयुका ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ मे 1989 अँड आय कुड मीट प्रोफेसर नारळीकर इन गोळे बंगलो ऑफ पुणे युनिव्हर्सिटी वेअर आयुका स्टार्टेड इट्स फंक्शनिंग आय कुड गेन लॉट ऑफ एक्सपिरियन्स under the control of Professor Narayikar, who has set up such, a, such an institution of international repute. At that time, we were having only one room in Goye Banglo, where sitting arrangement for three people was made, and five, six members have joined Ayuka. But Professor Narayikar asked me to select a particular chair instead of playing a game of musical chair, since I was handling accounts and finance. I could gain a lot of experience under his guidance for more than 30 years, which is very memorable one and very useful for even my day-to-day -day life. I am thankful to Ayuka for giving me an opportunity to interact with such an imminent personality. Once again, my best wishes to Professor Narayikar on his birthday. Thank you. August 1995, we were able to get out of the way of the Ayuka Samhathya. And we were able to get out of the way of the Ayuka Samhathya. We were able to get out of the way of the Ayuka Samhathya. We were able to get out of the way of the Ayuka Samhathya. We were able to get out of the way गेले 25 वर्ष जवळपास मी त्यांचा सहाय्यक म्हणून कार्यरत आहे आणि त्या दरम्यान मला त्यांच्या विषयी सांगायचे अनेक प्रसंग आहेत त्यांच्या शिस्ती बद्दल त्यांच्या कार्यपद्धती बद्दल ज्या साधा राणी बद्दल तर त्यातले काही गोष्टी ज्या मला प्रकर्षाने जाणवल्या त्या मी इथं नमूद करतो आपण बघतो की सध्या प्रकाश जोता देण्यासाठी अनेक लोक उद्घाटन बक्षीस समारंभ पुस्तक प्रकाशन या समारंभाला जात असतात आणि त्यामुळे आपली मीडियामध्ये आणि न्यूज पेपरमध्ये कसं नाव येईल याकडे बघत असतात पण मी नाळीकर सर हे असं व्यक्तिमत्व बघितलं की ज्यांनी ह्या उद्घाटन किंवा प्रकाशन समारंभ किंवा बक्षीस समारंभ यांना न जाता त्यांनी त्यांचा वेळ फक्त लिखाणासाठी संशोधनासाठी आणि लहान मुलांमध्ये वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोन वाढावा यासाठी प्रयत्न करण्यासाठी घालवला त्यांनी हे गेले चाळीस वर्ष जवळपास हे ते कायम कार्यरत करत आलेत की मी कुठल्याही अशा महत्वाच्या कार्यक्रमांना उद्घाटन समारंभांना असं जाणार नाही जरी वर्ण त्यांना मोठमोठाले मंत्री यांच्यानी जरी त्यांच्यावर दबाव टाकला तरी ते आपल्या निर्णयावर कायम ठाम राहिले त्याचप्रमाणे त्यांनी पण त्याच्या विरुद्ध जर मुलांसाठी एखाद्या शाळेने 
जर त्यांचं लेक्चर ठेवलं किंवा काही त्यांचे प्रश्नोत्तराचा कार्यक्रम ठेवला तर ते त्याकरता मात्र नेहमीच सदैव या कार्यक्रमाला जाण्यासाठी त्यांनी तयारी दाखवली सरांची आज दुसरी गोष्ट अशी आहे की सरांनी आयुकाची निर्मिती करताना त्यांच्या त्यांनी जे प्रयत्न केले ते सगळ्यांनाच माहिती आहेत आणि या गोष्टीचं मला त्यांचं सहाय्यक म्हणून काम करताना आश्चर्य वाटण्यासारखं होतं की जेव्हा ते विविध बैठका आयोजित करायच्या जसे गव्हर्निंग बोर्ड काउन्सिल तेव्हा त्या मिटिंगला जाण्यापूर्वी त्या मिटिंग बद्दलचं कार्यवृत्त म्हणजे मिनिट्स जे म्हणतात ते त्यांचे तयार असायचे आणि मिटिंग झाल्यानंतर एक पाच दहा मिनिटात थोडाफार त्याच्यात बदल करून ते त्या समोर लगेचच सदस्यांसमोर ते कार्यवृत्तवरती सही करण्याकरता ते पुटप करायचे त्याचप्रमाणे त्यांची जी मोठमोठाली पुस्तकं करण्याचा मला प्रोसेस करण्याचा मला एक काय थोडंफार संधी मिळाली त्यामध्ये मला त्यांचं असं वाटायचं की त्यांचं जे लिखाण होतं ते लिखाण त्यांचं इंग्लिश असो मराठी असो तर ते जेव्हा माझ्यासमोर प्रोसेस करण्याकरता यायचं तर त्यांचं अक्षर इतकं सुंदर असायचं की याला प्रोसेसिंगची काही गरज आहे का का हेच जर आपण तसंच आपण परत प्रकाशनासाठी पाठवलं तर ते जास्त सुंदर दिसेल अशी गोष्ट नेहमीच वाटायची आणखीन एक गोष्ट आवर्जून सांगायची वाटते की त्यांच्या या लेखांमध्ये किंवा त्यांच्या पुस्तकांमध्ये त्यांनी जे काही काही पुस्तकांमध्ये माझं नाव नमूद केलंय त्यामुळे हाच माझ्या जीवनातला मोठा एक काहीतरी मोठा वाटा आहे असं मला वाटतं हेच माझं मोठं भाग्य आहे याची मला आवर्जून तिथं नमूद करायची इच्छा होते त्याचप्रमाणे त्यांनी त्यांच्या ज्या मोठमोठ्या जेव्हा काय म्हणतात त्याला मिटिंग आयोजित करण्याची संधी किंवा अपॉइंटमेंट साठी ज्या लोकांना बोलवायचे तर त्यांनी एखादी अपॉइंटमेंट एखाद्या विद्यार्थ्याला जर आधी दिली असेल आणि त्याच्यानंतर एखाद्या मोठ्या व्यक्तीने त्यांना त्याच वेळेला अपॉइंटमेंट मागितली तर त्या स्टुडंटची अपॉइंटमेंट कॅन्सल न करता ते नेहमी त्या मोठ्या व्यक्तीला दुसऱ्या वेळेला येण्याला सांगायचे पण त्या व्यक्तीचं किंवा त्या स्टुडंटचं त्या वेळेला ते अपॉइंटमेंट कधी त्यांनी कॅन्सल केली नाही अशा महान व्यक्तिमत्वाबरोबर महान शास्त्रज्ञाबरोबर काम करण्याची संधी जवळपास गेले पंचवीस वर्ष मला मिळतील ती माझं मी मोठं भाग्य समजतो सरांनी मला एवढ्या वर्ष सांभाळून घेतलं त्याबद्दल त्यांचे आभार मानावेत तेवढे थोडेच आहेत त्यांना आजच्या वाढदिवसाबद्दल खूप खूप शुभेच्छा धन्यवाद एज वन ऑफ द अर्लिएस्ट इंडियन स्पेशलिस्ट इन दिस फील्ड ऑफ एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स अँड कॉस्मोलॉजी ही हॅज मेड ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग research and had several very important papers in this area but not just that he is also something which in modern times would be called an influencer at an early stage in his career he realized that it was very important to inform everyone around you the people who support all this research about the work and this is very important work and this is very complex work so he made very special efforts to bring this into simple words and uh, has gone to the limits of writing books and writing letters himself to people giving talks and uh, making several public appearances so that people find an affinity to this particular subject and in general to the scientific temperament so we are looking at a person who's given a lot of generations an inspiration not to just come into astronomy and astrophysics but also to get into any kind of science research as such me myself being one of the examples i was drawn to this subject after seeing him on television uh, talking about a, a total solar eclipse which was happening at that time it was very rare to see any great scientist on television let alone in astrophysics but in any science so that kind of pulled me into this subject and uh, of course after that i have had this fortunate uh times of being with him working with him and giving also a lot of uh support to the public outreach of this big institute so apart from being an amazing scientist and uh, um inspiration to all of us uh, professor narlikar has inspired millions through um, his books both uh, about astronomy and uh, fiction which is a uh, science fiction and so uh, this is uh, why we are all so indebted to him and why he is a very special person and this is a very special birthday happy birthday <laughs>